Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. I just finished a video on the Nature Hike 2-in-1 stove and I talked about how when I saw it, I knew I had to have it. I think this next stove, the BRS32, was even more. I saw it and it was like immediate, got, got to order this thing. I actually received, I have received four or five emails in the last month saying, man, will you review this stove? We want to see this stove. You want two burners in the back country. You want two burners, but you don't want to carry a big old two burner stove. So what if you could find one that folds up like an accordion? We found one. Stay tuned. I saw this thing first on AliExpress. I think I ended up buying it on AliExpress, but you can buy it on Amazon as well. Price is always a little cheaper on AliExpress, but if you're impatient and you don't mind spending an extra 20 bucks, you can get it on Amazon. I think you'll see pretty quickly when we look at the stove why I wanted to check it out. Luke at the Outdoor Gear Review beat me to it. He's done a review on it. I think he really liked the, the stove quite a bit. He doesn't do a lot of stoves, so I think when, when he does one, it's pretty unique. Let's check out the BRS32. Okay, I don't know if you guys are excited, but I am excited. This thing is cool. This is the BRS32. Dimensions are 11.8 by 2.5 by 3.7 when it's folded down like this. Open up, which we'll open it up here in a second, is 16.3 by 7.3 by 3.7. Weight is 36 ounces. Power is basically 6600 BTU per burner. It's made out of aluminum, copper, and stainless steel in China. Price is $50 to $60, depending on where you buy it, whether it be Amazon or AliExpress. Carrying case is pretty freaking stellar. I love carrying cases. I like this one in particular. We'll take it out of here. And, oh man, this thing is so cool. So there it is. It's got this pretty long fuel uh, hose. Watch this, watch close. Opens up, okay, just like that. Pop these out. And there you go. You can put them that way, but they're gonna basically be like this, and you can see that they are offset, which is a pretty cool feature for this stove. There it is unfolded. I mean, I don't know what's not to like about this thing. To fold it, you just pop these in again, and it folds right up, super simple like that. Pull this out. We're gonna go ahead and light this thing for you guys. But how cool is this thing? I mean, honestly, how cool is that? So you've got two different burners. We're gonna attach this to fuel. This fuel is super empty for the most part. It does have preheat tubes as you can see, okay? I'm gonna turn one of these on. I don't know which one it is. This one. Okay, this one. Turn the lights down for you guys. How cool is that, huh? I mean, honestly, how cool is that? Uh-oh. Trying to lower these down to see what we got. That gets down pretty good. Turn off the lights completely. That is pretty freaking cool. I mean, who's not in love with these things already? Honestly. We'll talk more about specifics uh, let me turn the lights up so you guys can just get a little bit better look at this stove. I'll zoom you guys in to different parts. Solid construction, really nice pot stands. It's got this center area. The offset is key because you can put a nice big pot here, a nice big pot back here. They're not gonna get in each other's way, which is a major problem with a lot of these dual burner stoves. We'll talk more about that later. But this is the BRS32, well thought out. Amazing cost, $50. Let's cook something with it and then we'll talk about it.
So what do we think about this stove? We're gonna talk pros, we're gonna talk cons. We always talk pros and cons because you wanna know what's good and you wanna know what's bad. We always start with the pros. We're gonna do the same thing today. It's compact, it's got very good flame control. That staggered design, you know, if both, you know, you have one of these Coleman dual burners, you can't put bigger pots next to each other. They, they, they're too close together, but they take those burners and they stagger them the way they did, and you can put a big pot here and a big pot here, and they don't get in each other's way. It's genius. Now, you're not gonna be able to do that with a, with a stove that doesn't fold up or move, but it is a great design. It's unique, which is a big thing. If you follow my channel, you know I love unique things. It has preheat tubes, which allow it to work well in cold weather with low fuel pressure. Those preheat tubes make a huge difference. The price is very reasonable, and I love, love, love the carrying case. Y'all know I love carrying cases. This one checks all the boxes for me. It is unique. It is purpose-built. It protects not only the stove from damage, but most importantly, protects your gear from damage from the stove, because these things have a lot of craggly edges and sharp edges and things. You want to make sure and not damage any of your super valuable gear in this particular uh, case really does that. Now there are cons. There are real cons. It is sort of underpowered. The BTUs are underwhelming. It's very susceptible to the wind, which I don't like. It has no piezo igniters, which, which I wish it did have. You're going to kind of compare this to a typical Coleman style two burner. Um, and, and it has a lot of benefits over those. It's much more compact, probably weighs at least half as much, but it is much less powerful than those typical stoves. So is this stove better than the classic Coleman two burner stoves, whether they be propane or white gas? I don't think there's any better or worse. I think they're just different. You have positives for those classic style stoves and you have positives for this more new accordion folding stove. Sometimes you can just be different. You don't have to be better or worse. This is a, to me, completely different animal. It allows you to take a two burner stove out into the back country. It doesn't run off of the big propane tanks that are bulky. It uses just a regular butane tank. Um, it, it is bigger than most smaller stoves, obviously like a pocket rocket or something, but that's not what you're going for. Relatively small form factor, higher weight than you would expect, but if you're looking for, if you're going off with three people and you're sharing you know, the weight of stuff, you take this stove with you, a couple of cans of gas, you can really cook complex multi-pot meals in the back country. Oh, it's really cool to have the option to do that if you want to. If you're on the move, especially like if, if you're either hiking somewhere and you're gonna have like a base camp situation, or let's say you're canoe camping. A lot of these awesome YouTube videos, uh, Jim Baird and all these people, they go off on these canoe trips. This is perfect for them because it runs off of butane, small, easy to source uh, cans, and it's pretty lightweight and pretty compact and it gives you that dual burner capability. In the end, it's all about knowing what you're buying. What do you need? Do you favor smaller, compact, less powerful stove? Or is a bigger, more robust, heavy, bulky, can't fold it down, but more powerful stove what you need? You have to make that decision. I have an entire playlist on stoves, well over 180 videos on stoves. Make sure you check those out. Just tons of stove videos. I love doing stoves here on the channel. Do me a favor, guys. If you like the video, hit the subscription button. If you think the video is good enough to deserve a subscription, if you think 180 stove videos is good enough to earn a subscription, I would appreciate it if you'd click that video or click that button to subscribe. If you want to comment, if you want to hit the thumbs up, that's great. That helps spread the video across YouTube, but really subscribing is the biggest thing for me. I love doing these videos. I absolutely had to have the stove when I saw it. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I have enjoyed it and I'll probably use this thing quite a bit. As always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.